Hi there, it's Ron from All Stage Lighting. Just wanted to give you a quick screencast on the detail of annotating viewports. If you've watched my tutorials and you've started to work in 3D, you'll know how to create um, a side section or an elevation on a viewport on a sheet layer. What you might want to do with that is once you've created that viewport and you've put it onto a sheet layer to create a sheet drawing, you might want to add data to it. Um, we've done in the past, we've done adding uh, dimensions to it and stuff, but you might want to add other data. The reason you'd annotate viewports is so that you can professionalize your drawings, make them clearer. You can do things like you can write on viewports, so you can write um, a note or some kind of uh, detail on the actual viewport itself. So you've started with a 3D uh, section or elevation of the actual 3D model, and then you're adding on top some 2D data. You can also use it to hide specific details um, or make complex objects more simple if your section drawing does not need the complexity that you get from your side view of the real world 3D stuff. And you can add other 2D data to a 3D section drawing as well. Let me show you what I mean. OK, so here I've got a 3D model. It's basically a set of extruded rectangles. Um, it's just a load of rectangles from what we're going to look at from the side. And you can see here I've created, there's a section viewport that looks at it from one side. So we can imagine this would be a theatre set or something or a complex building or whatever we want to see. So what I've done is I've created a sheet layer which has a particular viewport on it, which is a side view. Now you can see this viewport here is quite complex. There's quite a few things that... Um, we have to look at and it could be that in uh, our particular drawing here we don't want to look at all these things. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually edit the actual viewport itself so I'll need to click on the viewport and then I'll go into the viewport so it says uh, where it says exit viewport annotation we know we're annotating the viewport. So obviously I can do things like a call out so I can um, write something actually on the viewport itself put some text and do that kind of thing. So that's actually writing on the viewport, so I'm not creating the text in 3D space. The other thing I could do is I could actually add a ground plane to it. So I could say, right, well, actually what I want is I want to add some uh, ground, or, or some kind of sort of element down here to say that this is the stage level or whatever it is. And what I want to do with that is I'm going to create a hatched rectangle so that I can see that there's some stage uh, the stage that there. So I'm going to just create a rectangle here. And then obviously you could create a class or do whatever you wanted to, but I'm just going to add a hatch to it straight away. I'm going to take the outside line off it so that it's got no external line. And then when I click off it, you can see I've created a ground plane there. So this ground plane here is um, sort of says that there's a solid object. So don't forget I'm drawing in 2D on top of a viewport that's got 3D information. What I could also do as well is I could create a line and I could put my line from one point to the other point. I could also give that line additional thickness. So if you see there, what I've done is I've, you could create it using a class, but uh, you see I've made it slightly clearer that that's the baseline there for the uh, set. And then here is some uh, the, the, the ground underneath it or whatever. So you can actually add detail that you don't have in your drawing. The last thing I wanted to show you is how I could possibly hide something or simplify something. So for instance, up here, if the top of this drawing wasn't that important to me and I wanted to just hide it, maybe there was a whole load of roof section or some things that weren't particularly interest, interesting to me on this viewport. Don't forget, I could obviously block it out using a shape so I could create a rectangle, um, I could block out, say, that area of the whole area of the roof, I could give it a white solid fill, and I could give it no external line, and that would effectively block out that detail on that viewport. So that's one way of doing it. Um, another, way we, one of, another way we could work is we could simplify a particular piece of the viewport because we don't need the details. So say this was a very detailed piece of set, we don't need to see that, we just need to see the rough outline. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to create a 2D polygon, so a 2D um, multi-sided object, closed object. And this time what I'm going to do, instead of creating the normal polygon, which is the first option, I'm going to create this one here, which is the lasso tool. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a go at drawing round this whole section of polygons all joined together and click and then that's created me a 2D polygon you'll see that has simplified that outline. Now obviously it wasn't the terribly complicated outline in the first place but it's now simplified that outline so I can also give that an extra thickness if I want to just make it clear that that's something slightly different. So maybe this uh, element of this particular section isn't important to me maybe the only important element to me is this piece here. So you can use those things you can add um, to the actual viewport itself in 2D having already used data from a 3D element. When you're done click exit uh, viewport annotation and so you've created um, a, a basically based on a 3D drawing you've created some 2D data which has made your viewport much more interesting um, and also simplified it. Hope that's been useful I'll see you again soon.